Hi, this is Tan from Asian Efficiency. And in this video, I want to show you how the OmniFocus hotspot technique works. So on a daily basis, I have to deal with a ton of files. And if I want to make sure that I review those files, then what I'll do is I'll create an inbox item that says something like review this file. And then what I'll do is I'll drag the file into the notes section, make sure it's right there. And then I, I'll do this with the other files as well. And uh, I found out that this is just a really slow process. I, I figured there has to be a faster way to do this. And um, there actually is. So I'm going to show you exactly how that works. So the way it works is you have a designated folder. In this case, I have a folder called Hotspot. And what will happen is I will drag a file into this folder, Hazel, a Mac utility will detect that there is a new file and put it into my OmniFocus inbox. So let me show you how that works. So let me drag this file into this folder, give it a couple seconds, and what will happen is it will move it to the process folder. And then when I check my OmniFocus inbox, it's right there. It says review and then the file name. So if I open the notes section, it will show me, okay, here's the file, and it will tell me exactly when it was scanned, which is right now. So if I click on that, it will open the file right away. And you can do this with multiple files as well. Whether it's just a text file or even just a folder, it, it all works. So give it a couple seconds again. So again, it moves it to the process folder. And then when I check my inbox, you'll see it's right there. So I can open that, it works fine. I can open a folder and so on. Now the way it works is it, it uses a Hazel rule with a little bit of Apple script. And I'm gonna show you briefly how this works. And I wanna make sure that you'll have a download link so you can actually download all of this and implement it right away. So that's the hotspot technique. I hope you find this useful. Please leave me some feedback behind and I would love to hear from you.